Hello, and welcome to the director's commentary of Shift. Uh, how's, how's it going, Jack? It's going well. It's going well. Glad yeah. to uh, be here with my friend Matt. Absolutely. After two years. Yeah, this is... God, we're coming up on... Um, it was uh, December of 2015 that we started working on this. Yeah. And then we released the first part in January 2016. Second part was... Late January or early February? It's February, right? One of the two. Yeah. And um, then I, I, I just stitched the parts together in like quick time. It was like the the, the cheapest way to <laughs> render it out because I didn't want to render the whole thing. So I just downloaded both videos, stuck them together, and uh, uploaded it for the whole uh, September 14th Machinima revamp thing, which was like an event that other directors were doing to kind of like revitalize the community. And um, I think Nightmare Films just liked the thumbnail so much that we put on the new one uh, for Shift, like the complete thing, that he stuck it at the front of the playlist on his channel. And since he's got so many subs, I think that's the reason why it initially became popular. And then it just kind of became big because of the recommendations and YouTube's algorithm. But I'm glad it's where it's at now. Yeah. Um, so we're... Basically, just going to talk about the things we like, the things we dislike, uh, laugh at some of the really fucking stupid stuff some in here. Funny memories, for sure. <laughs> oh, I've read through some of the comments on here, and they're they're claiming it as like the best machinima ever. Yeah, I remember and I'm that. like, oh man, I like the story, but no, it's so far from being. The There's best lots machinima. of things we could have improved. So many different things that all the comments me. were appreciated, though. I read them. And it's not even my channel, and I would still read them. You know, I would go out and be like, "Oh wow, what are people saying?" I'd get all excited when I'd read right Best Machinima. Like, you know, there's definitely some time went to that. Definitely more on uh, Matt's end putting it together, but the body acting took quite a bit of time. I do remember many days oh, of doing God. that, playing a few rounds of Slayer, and then being like, "All right, we got to go to body acting for the next couple of hours." And like, okay, that's so <laughs> frustrating. Yeah. All right, I'm going to start it so that way there's actually a commentary. Okay. But we can keep talking about that as this goes. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Oh, God, that old intro. I still think it's cool. It was, like I said, it was cool for what it was. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it's a little bit more professional now. Um, I think, yeah, this scene right here has probably some of the better cinematography in the rest of it, and it's not even that great, but... That's gonna get annoying. I remember the sounds, how you did the ambient sounds, That's you know, better. just to kind of make that ship feel like it was bigger. Mm -hmm. And that definitely, I remember that being like, oh, okay, this is gonna be serious. This isn't just somebody doing a video. You know, uh, I've been asked to do many hey, videos Jonah. Any luck over on time. where we are? Yeah, that's yeah. me. That's <laughs> my I still that's wear that helmet. The body I still wear that helmet. helmet. Yeah, you and I went out and recorded Something footsteps on like the uh, the metal it's grate yeah. outside of the school. Yeah, I remember that. That doesn't explain much. We had a lot of free time. It didn't make no sense at all. <laughs> we appeared to be homing in on an We had way too much free time. This isn't anywhere the film was a joke. <laughs> we just didn't do anything. So Wide it? camp was pretty cool, but aside from that, yeah. You know what he said in his first fact, kit? Yeah. I did hear that. That's just crazy. awesome. Life form signatures. Okay. Might be interesting See, to two things to note about her. First How's off, this is different voice actress Cargo from Shift 2, yeah. as sure I'm sure you noticed. Um, it looks like they're all she died or something? Wow. No, 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 no. Not her. Not her. Uh, Nobody uh, actually uh, died, but I, I thought died. for a while that someone had died. Um, <laughs> so, this is Angel on My Shoulder, um, uh, Alex. Um, and she's a good friend of mine, but she did the voice acting here, and she I wasn't sure if she wanted to come back in... Um, Shift too, so I ended up getting um, Ali Fluro, who's very good, by the way, very good, and I'm I'm very glad with where she's taken the character. Yeah, she sounds it's more been really good. Yeah, so she hits the highs and lows. You know? When she's mad, she sounds mad. Yeah, yeah. she's very good at yelling. Oh. Excuse me. Very true. Wake up. Wake me up. Wake right me now? up inside. <laughs> Or right, this this was the shot that was like originally meant for the teaser, and then okay, so and that I I always liked that yeah that intro. was that was really good uh, but um gives me goosebumps <laughs> so I remember this so in the teaser it, there's there's one of the first audio errors uh, or visual errors we're gonna be seeing a lot of those as we go on <laughs> oh my god a bug. Yeah, yeah, there's the tiny little bugs yeah. in the back. Where are you having me later on? Can you kill those bugs? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, I'll shoot them. I'll shoot them. It didn't work. 
I'm losing. Shifter? Shifter! Um, oh my god, that shifting transition effect is legitimately just bloom with flash. Oh, she comes doing? running up the stairs. <laughs> Um, okay, so, real quick, so Miller, I figured out what was wrong because I couldn't figure out why her shoulders were black, but her helmet was white. It turned out we had the secondary white on her, but Halo 5's armor, 343, fucked up the normals so bad, so that way it darkens the whatever color you choose on the Mark VI um, uh, main armor, but not on the helmet. Um... I, wait, maybe maybe it does on the helmet. But this is, I think that's when they fixed it, because he was shot um, newer, or maybe it's just different lighting. But you see, his, his blue actually shows up nice and pretty. Yeah, my white still to this day does not come through, because I still wear gray and white armor, and I just noticed yesterday it did not come through. Miller? Miller? I said that maybe you need a break or something. You know, grab some sleep. It's so amazing that she doesn't see him uh, phasing in and out of existence, later. right? <laughs> He's like, chilling. you know what? Fuck this. I gotta go um, talk to the captain. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Must be getting high on ship fumes or something. <laughs> um, but, oh god. Alright, so once he goes back, I'll talk about the uh, teaser real quick. Okay. Oh, here you Jonah, are. Here's me. What brings you to me? Well, sir, the I slow turning. <laughs> the slow turning. <laughs> I always thought that was so funny. That's... The one step and then the other step in oh, the circle. The turn animations well, in Halo 4 and 5 are so, so bad, bad by 343. Yeah. Zed actually brought that up. He's another uh, cinema director. Um, that he hates it when people show turning in Halo 4 and 5. And he's he's got a point because it looks so fucking stupid. Yeah, it's just they take one step and then they kind of turn. And then they take another step and then they're like, oh, I'm here now. And then also in like previous Halos, the moving your head around while with like lowered weapon and standing still was so much better yeah, because sure. only your head moved yeah, at least at a certain degree but in Halo That's 5 if you move your whole case. torso yeah, moves it's like they couldn't we'll come up with a different um, rig and for your waist as well as your neck there's also this weird point where the gun has to go up oh. and then your head will go up so it's like I that's mean, just awkward too I just too. have one last thing to ask you about yeah. I just have one last oh, thing to I ask you about weird kind of hallucination when I was tinkering with the navigation and then I was wondering if you knew anything about convenient alarms what the, devil? what the hell? Oh no, you said what the devil? <laughs> oh yeah, I wasn't. Then we run up here. It's supposedly a very occupied ship. I don't know what's going on. But there's no one else. I was just waiting. Yeah, it was just us body acting most of the time. We had like one guy who joined us. I remember some of these scenes we had to shoot like this because we didn't have all three people, right? Yeah, that was true. So some of these scenes, people, you'll see that there's only two people ever shown on screen sometimes, and it's because it would just be the two of us, and so we would do some very clever, like, angles in order to make it look like there were three people. That final scene with four people, because there's the soldier who dies, yeah. the, um, oh, I'll talk about that when we get to it, but, um, it's not me. I would definitely get antsy sometimes when we're doing this because it would be very, you know, Matt would be being like, okay, you need to stand here, and I would have to do that, but then I would have to be there for, like, you know, like 10 minutes. So I'd just kill him, you know? And then there'd be a dead body. And then we'd and have to that. was an issue, that. and then... Okay. So this is where she's, like, explaining the shift ability. So this scene in the teaser, Lucy was originally male, not um, not female, because that was from an earlier draft of shift. And I'll even talk about that later um, during some of the more useless aspects. But, um, what is, there's such an awkward pause. But it's it's meant to be purposeful and pause, but it comes off as an editing error instead of actually being an intentionally long pause. Some random radio chatter here. She does a little turn and then just stops and right back she goes. <laughs> um, it's, it's just because it reversed the footage instead. Um, but this scene in the teaser, um, we carried over the broken armor that he resurrected, although if he's actually shifting, he wouldn't have the broken armor. So that's actually kind of a production error that we just kept up for continuity's sake. Yeah. Where he has broken armor and all this, I, I guess remember we had gotten it. somewhat, somewhat into it and it's like, all right, we're just going to have to roll with it. Yeah. It may, in, the, in the opening scene, it was great to distinguish the two. You know, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, there's, this is like a different, you know, thing going on there. This was the best map that we could have picked for this. Yeah. So this place never came into... Like, you know, it, it was never important again after, yeah. like, um, the first few scenes that she's here. But she says it's the hub. It's where she goes to monitor all activity and trouble. This is actually coming back in Shift 2. This will be a plot point oh, really? in Shift cool. 2 because it was it was so underutilized in the first one. I wanted to explain it. Um, you know, one, point, one place, now that it's a part of the game, Molten. I think if we had done that on Molten, yeah, that floating area. rock, that would have been really cool. That floating rock, Molten. That's the uh, the it's lava one, the right? New, yeah, it's like a new map. It's gotcha. got the big guardian on there, too. Would have been cool. That definitely would have been cool. Yeah. We did, um... 
I remember during the teaser too, people were asking how we got Lucy in there because like Forge wasn't there, right? And so they didn't realize that like she she's never in this she machinima. Took so much work for you. God, I oh, remember how much work that took. Oh my you. god, green screening that in and freaking, all that. It, and it wasn't even the green screening part that took so much work. It was the fact that it was for every single oh, shot. So she had to be green screened. She had to be chromaed in there, layered. She um, up and down. She goes up and down, so you had to adjust for that. And then my computer which I was working on was a laptop and it does not do After Effects well so it would lag and crash oh God, constantly I and I would not know when so I would immediately lose all progress that I'd worked on. I remember something. watching that happen multiple times in film as well as watching you render for like a good portion of the day because we'd have second period in there and I'd have third and fourth, and you would have fourth. I remember you leaving your laptop in there once and saying, watch this render, yeah. and make sure it doesn't <laughs> stop. I and just, I was in there for about four hours, that's sitting next to me, like, okay, I hope this doesn't stop, because then I'm going to have to do it again. Or maybe she's yeah. going to disappear, you know, I don't know, so. Oh my god, it was such a pain in the ass. Oh, there's a turn. Oh, that, um, was, that step backwards is so weird, it's too. It's so it's weird. Like, I don't understand it. No, my, um, my favorite... Right. Uh, what no, was it? Something about dying? I don't know. <laughs> um, only planet with life on it. Yeah, there's a planet with life on it. To be random. Da, 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 da. Sabotaged. Son of a bitch. How long do we have until this course is? Man, you sound so concerned. Oh so man, the ship's sabotaged. Son of so a bitch. You and I both kind of dropped the ball on voice acting. Yeah. Just because I'm not a very good Jeez. voice actor. And you're not a very good you voice actor. I think you've gotten better, but yeah, I've taken now that I've you know moved on from this and done a couple other small projects as well as uh, being in new classes where I've had to do that for you know acting classes and stuff like that. I've got this great you know range of voice now and pitch, and it's like oh wow. I look back at this. I'm like this is like by far one of the most fun projects I worked on. Also, I sound so bad. I sound so bad in this project. So so bad. There's a couple moments where I'm like, all right, that seems normal, or that's what would happen. Well, he just sprints <laughs> down the fucking... <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Well, they, that was they a just scene where you saw like three moment, people. That's a rare one. A moment of camaraderie between them. Also, Halo I, 5, you need to... Or actually, I guess Halo 6, you need to do split screen because... What the hell they are. This? They confirmed that. So black undersuits and split screen for Halo 6 and all Halos going forward. Good, thank if God. If there's any, because we haven't had news in like almost... Two and a half years. Yeah, now. seriously, it's like yeah, they're it's still. And what's up with the Halo TV show, right? Steven Spielberg, it's don't still coming. I just don't give, say just that when it's been it. like ten just years. Give up though, right? on it. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, this guy. He goes and wait a second. Could it? And then I think he shifts back, and he and then he gives her a name, but then um. Hello. So I think this is <laughs> oh, uh, watcher. Okay, so I've told people yeah, so about like, this. That's great. When she comes flying like that, right? that's she, not when easy. She interacts that's with not the easy. environment. She yeah. looks real. Um, yeah, she's just layered on from Halo 4 with a green screen. Um, the, the MCC version of Halo 4, so it's upscaled to 1080p, and uh, it's on Forge Islands with the, with the chroma screen. But... Okay, uh, so he's giving her a name. So why don't why don't you go ahead and explain why you hate um, Lucy so much? So Lucy is my dog's name, and I was very opposed the entire time. Every time we brought up this name, I was like, "Don't name her Lucy, whatever you do." And of course, that is the one name that we named her. I gave other ideas. I was not down the whole time. I was like, "No, that's my dog's name. Why would it be a floating blue ball?" But. Here we are. I thought it'd be cool if it was like another type of monitor name, you know, Exuberant Witness or whatever. whatever the issue, the issue was or that blue, was that blue was always my favorite because of her eye. Yeah. But um, original. It, it doesn't take place in the Halo universe, which is why I didn't want to go for like a monitor name. Yeah. And I wanted her to have a name that kind of like personifies her, because the whole thing is that she's treated as nothing but the Watcher, like a title rather than a name, right. by her people. And then I wanted him to give her something that like shows growing friendship. And I think that's really good, especially with the uh, the way you did it in the second part of shift two as i was just watching it's like the significance of her name especially to her really really came out yeah so with that, that little you know, that little uh speech during shift two part two yeah that she made yeah um funny holy <laughs> shit oh my god, god. god that was top so speed. bad top speed <laughs> sprinting in there oh my lord not only was that transition 
<laughs> the fastest transition <laughs> we've seen. She, she ran up like sprinted. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh know, my I god. I don't know what this person did, but it seems almost like I've been locked Great. up. I don't know what this person did, but this shit ain't working. <laughs> Pretty much. I always thought it was funny that he was always just looking at this wall. And like, you know, because it's, you know, obviously a machine, it's not like they're going to be touching anything. He's just staring at this arrow going circles. Pretty much. Always, that red arrow. Like, it's a console. What are we just like staring at it the whole time? He's like, I'm a political science major. I don't know what the fuck engineering is. What's going on? See, like, those then, down there kind of look then, like okay. they could be main terminals. Production error that probably no one has noticed here. Oh, there you are. Um, um, I doubt is anyone has noticed the same scene. But just no, yeah, that is the same, the same scene. scene. I reused the scenes yeah, between him and Jonah because there were only um, two of us. Uh-huh. And then yeah. with um, what is it? Um, this is where I start to asking about like hallucinogenics or whatever. So this is the same scene between him and um, sorry, the captain, the unnamed captain. And uh, but the scenes well, with he, Jonah and Miller are a different uh, game and theater mode entirely. But the thing is, is that your character, which is playing Miller right now, because I didn't have the Helljumper helmet, she's got the HCS skin on it, and you can even see it a little bit right there on yeah. the captain's gun. You never took it off, and I forgot to tell you. Yeah, um, I remember that. Put it on. See, there it is. It's yeah. like the white of the HCS skin. Yeah, they just got that for it's just something. Time. I won something, and I was like, oh, this is the best skin. And then, yeah, we didn't realize that until much later. I remember you telling me after it was done that, that we should have changed that. We can't abandon ship if it reaches breaking point. See, this was the thing. Like, they're like, you know, it's taking too long for you to fix this job. We're kind of suspicious. And he's like, fuck, it's just a job. It takes too long. And they're like, also all of our escape pods got locked down. It's like, why didn't you open with that? From this point on, Miller... I want him From this point on, I want him He'll thrown in the brig. He God, I remember you recording this. I made you very <laughs> mad. <laughs> it's like, I just fly in. Oh, I trapped you in the room or something. You know, in the brig. Oh my God. Yeah. So many. That you was put a kill ball in there. You put forging. a kill ball in there. I was so pissed off. We, we had to forge the map for the brig. Oh um, God. And that was during the second part of Shift because Forge wasn't around then. The empty energy swords. That's also the reason why we chose some of the maps, because we had to choose maps which had shields on them. That's the same reason why Truth is chosen, because it has those four shields up top that you could waste the ammo of the energy sword. On. There was really very limited options when mm-hmm. we were first starting this. This was not, again, this is not, there's a lot of things you had to jump through. Hill 5 Forge has come so far since Yes, that. definitely. But, oh my god, was it frustrating at the time. Um, that you gotta see that lighting time. change you were talking about earlier, like... It's still on his armor, it's not on hers, but that, that lighting is lighting makes a lot of it for sure. Like her secondary is supposed to be white, but it looks straight up black. I guess blue isn't affected as much because you can actually tell his is blue. It yeah. looks lighter than white and it's supposed to be darker. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It's just so bad. There's the HCS skin still on the pistol. Um but yeah, we were forging this map and we got so fr- frustrated with each other just because I think we were tired and like we were very tired. We were very tired, very angry. It's one of the last scenes we filmed too, I think. If, I think so, like second to last scenes. Yeah, because I think even the the end scene we did before, before this. this. Yeah. You know, we'd done everything on the ship prior to doing this. And Matt was making some of it. I was making some of it. I got very bored of making it, and so he just trapped me in kill balls. I yeah, would... I just put a kill ball on top of the spawn point, so then... I couldn't do anything but die. And it was okay. pretty awful. See, the architecture doesn't even match truth, but whatever. Yeah. It's like it was for the best you could do at the time. Yeah. Now we have covenant pieces. Yep, so if we were to redo it, hint, hint, might re. Oh, real, real quick. This is actually my favorite, like quote unquote, shift transition. Doesn't have any effects. It's just him crouching, and then he stands up. And he's in. Uh, that's my favorite one. That's the a good whole one. thing. I um, like that one. And I like the intro too. The intro is very well done. The, uh, yeah, exactly. The, the, the thing is, is that we needed the effect to signify it whenever he's aware of it happening. But when the ones without it look so much better and so much more fluid. It almost looks like he's choosing versus like it's like whoa. Like, exactly. What's going on, you know. Like if you were to turn around more often. Tell you what. So. Hint, hint, uh, to anybody out there, um, a remastered uh, shift, we could actually redo the brig and we could redo okay. some of those scenes and it'd be way easier since, you know, we don't have frustrating shit. And shifts. monitor could just be there now, you know? Kind of. Um, I, I am thinking about that for, okay, actually, I can't talk about that. I can't talk about that because I don't even know if it's going to be a thing or not, but... I was thinking about something to do with a monitor like shift 
um, where we use the Halo 5 monitor instead of the Halo 4 monitor. It is legs twitch there. I fucking hate the Halo animation. I had to reshoot something in Shift 2 Part 2. He, he stops and he does that little weird hip twist. The yeah, I, I do not understand why they would ever do that. Uh, he's got too much of a glow there. Let's see, and then... Okay, so this right here was a pain in the ass, because Halo, Halo 2 Anniversary... <laughs> Um, instead of using a dice like I should have, you can see that he's got transparent things in his white markings. I used a white screen, and it didn't come off as well. So he's he's like kind of missing parts of his body. Yeah, in his, um, it looks it looks really not good. There was a lot of screening. I think this is where he finally figures out. And I'm like, holy shit! You know, just uh, uh, Halo Corvette.png off of Google Images there. <laughs> See, now that it's so, wider, they look a little bit better, you know? Yeah, because I decreased, um, or I increased the tolerance. So okay. because I increased the tolerance, they have a slight white outline to them. Right. But it's farther away, so it's harder to see it. So I thought yeah. that was tolerable. Thought, um, yeah. And then there's just, like, random gas that comes in, and he starts figuring out that, like, all of this was intentional. Right. I remember part of this being an issue was... We were trying to find a map anywhere that we could look up and see sky, and we couldn't think of anything. And then actually, there being much. plaza, and that was the one we were like, really plaza. Like I remember being so surprised. Like that one has sky. I've never looked straight up on that map. Agreed, because like we needed somewhere that was like populated, right. but you could also have a reasonable um, like it needed to be like a city kind of thing. Right. Um, but that you could see sky, and I think the only other option was like Eden you. or Empire. Right now, um, but those two just kind of suck for being a city thing, unless like you go yeah. out and look at the actual cityscape. Right. Um, so, all and right, then this is where cares. everything happens. You went all this way to this come back like twenty feet from where she is. It all comes back. Years ago, um, we were carrying cargo. This is where he starts unraveling it. I had no idea um, I was in which I think was one of the strongest parts of the story is the way he kind of figures it out. Mm -hmm. That's why it was so good. It wasn't like we never handed it to anybody. And that's why the whole two-part thing definitely made people look different. So, yeah, the, the lighting is a little off, I think. And the color grading isn't as strong. Yeah. So she looks kind of just like default. Yeah. Um, but I was saying, yeah, like the way the two parts worked out and the way he naturally figured it out, I think was very good because... It left you. If I remember, was it the was he turning the brig, and that was the end of the last one? How did the, how did the first? Yeah, so end? in in the first one, he where you um, you saw that black screen like right between he gets thrown in the brig, and that that's where it ends. Right. I said to be continued. Right. Um, so and then these two come in, and um, originally these guys these, always seem so pissed off. But I love this. This is honestly one of my favorite scenes. I've always loved this scene. What the hell did you expect this to be? Now, where where he figures out it was humans I that created her, or I was unaware that I was trespassing. Oh, created her. Right. Uh, spoilers. Um, <laughs> I brought Jonah here. He I brought Jonah here. La 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 la. You and um, these dudes definitely looked. They were just Spartan locks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were just white. They were just Spartan white locks. locks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't wait for someone to say you couldn't stand Spartan lock You're being black so much that you had to change it to white. <laughs> <laughs> um, Spartan Log sucks. Halo 5 story sucks. Just Halo 5 just sucks. I mean, I, who came up with, like, hey, you know this really shitty received Spartan Ops thing with, like, the story was super weak? Let's put the lead guy in that and try to do the whole Halo 5 campaign. No sense. I hope he's fired. Yeah, he is. They're looking for a new writer, unless they found him already. And then they're about to, like, fucking execute him, like, freaking Old West style, just kneel down. And, um, Get out of here. And then <laughs> she finally grows some balls here. I, I liked editing this bit. Protector of this planet, and you are in my way. We. Uh, I remember that I was standing up there with a laser, right? Yeah, you were. Work? And then, oh, there's the melee to. That one's not bad. Yeah, that that's one's, not the bad one. That one's not bad. It's it looks same, natural. It's the same melee assassination that. Um, the captain I uses towards the end, but so the cut of the, the captain towards the end looks so bad. Yeah. Um, so he's he's starting to figure out it's the captain here. Um, these two, those those two lock armor people were originally going to be like part of the antagonists in Shift Two when I like first released the teaser, but then their nature changed, so they became the antigens instead of just her creators again. So that's why I changed the, the armor. That is that's you. 
that that's you like sitting me. up top getting <laughs> bored so you started shooting a needle um a needle gun needler god how yeah. are you freaking people have mentioned that before yeah. the and every time that's i read one me. of those I'm like god damn it jack yeah it was definitely me <laughs> oh my god we got so bored just filming sometimes. There was some days... Especially since, like, I'm just sitting up here looking at air. <laughs> right. He would, it'd be like, okay, and then we'll hold for ten seconds. And, yeah, and then just be looking at nothing, and then I'd be like, okay. And then you, and, and eventually... Matt would, would go away for about 30 seconds and be quiet, and then he'd go, okay, we got to do it again. And then I'd be like, why? <laughs> and then, just looking and then at eventually, <laughs> so you just get to the point, all right, hold it for ten seconds. I didn't do it, but I know <laughs> yeah, I, would, I would definitely be screwing around. There were some long, we had some long sessions. We had a couple, like, four to six hour days, and I think that was the brig, and that was that one. And those were, but I think, in the end, those became the best scenes, so, I think so. the time really shows, I think, in, in those scenes. It wasn't even just because of filming, it was because, like, sometimes you would go, and theater wouldn't work, like, yep. it would crash, yep. because Halo 5, once again, and so you'd have to reshoot the whole scene just because it didn't save. Yeah, at release, this game had so many flaws. I will say, now, almost two years later, was it two years later? Two, uh, two yeah, years later. Yeah, it's, it's definitely two years later. This is uh, um, two and a few months. It's a great game, though. It's got tons of maps, tons of stuff that works for it, like weapons from every previous Halo. I think it's great. Funny thing, it's it's a much better game than it was at launch. I still, I, I can't, I hate playing it now. Yeah, but you were still, like, level 100 in the first, like, three months. <laughs> Can't we can't we we can complain but we can't complain too much because we played the shit out of this game for sure. Well, we yeah. played so much. It was fucking Halo. I told you to of course, of course, yeah. I'm uh, sorry, Captain. But I just got that that helmet too is. for the the captain. I was pretty excited to use. What this one, Noble? Yeah. He just, he just got that. I just got that before we done the. They were never broken to begin. Uh, oh yeah, I was about to say like you just got that in in here. Not oh yeah, yeah. Recently. Right before no, right before we just started recording, I got that and I was like, ooh, I know what helmet we should use. I was so excited to use my new helmet. He's obviously fabricated. Then he's obviously obviously. Sounds sounds like he's yeah. uh like doing a smoke pipe and like a monocle. <laughs> he's obviously. Oh, so they oh, it, it's they clearly a lie. So, people will notice, like right here, only two people are ever shown on screen at one time. It's either Jonah and Miller, or this random fodder soldier and the captain. And that's because we wanted four people. It was just me and Jack here trying to film this. I remember, did we not? We got four people one time. And then the footage was lost or something. Three people. Three people? You, me, and a gentleman raptor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who acted as my creative director for years? He doesn't. He doesn't use his Xbox anymore um, because uh, he's in college. But is this true? So yeah, he just kind of turns around. Captain doesn't give shit. Breaking the 180 degree rule so hard. <laughs> the true purpose of this mission is to crash a ship into the planet. <gasps> yeah, that's definitely the true purpose of this mission. I kill wish shit. I was not that bad of a voice actor two years ago because, and especially, I could not for the life of me, <laughs> for the life of me, I could not, could not get some of these last lines. This kind of. Oh my god, no, it's so bad. Oh no. It's so bad. And his cut. pistol just flies from his pocket to his hand. And then that line, god. you little shit. That was actually supposed to be the captain, but you couldn't say it right. Almost so definitely. I voice acted it for you. I remember that. But well, then it I'm didn't, because it was supposed to be the captain, but then it just comes out yeah. sounding like Jonah says, you little shit, which is so out of character. It is so confusing. Yeah. Damn it's, you. It's really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, I did. The face in the ground. <laughs> And then Miller's gone, but um, it's kind of implied her body's still there. He picks up her gun, but she's nowhere in sight. And he just stands up. This is like there's the, the weird most, hand with the. This is the most anticlimactic scene or fight in, I'm gonna turn in a thing ever. Very slowly. Just turn really slowly. Just stare at the guy holding a gun instead of drawing. Shoot, the captain's dead. Right in the face. So anticlimactic, but whatever. Lowers his gun. And finally, they're out of time, so now comes what, uh... This is a great scene, too. I love yeah. the end. Personally, great. this whole scene where he starts apologizing to both of them for having to kill himself, um, and the fact that he's saving them, but it's he doesn't repeat himself. He just transitions into the next state of the apology, but with the other person. I thought that was... This is probably one of the best scenes. Yeah, the definitely. Thing. I love um, the beginning. I love the brig. I love the Spartan laser, and these these final scenes. Those are my four favorites. If I had yeah. to pick any, this right here, um, the music that comes into play here is 
waiting for it the pretty much carries the whole scene. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's the Eleventh yeah, we'll Doctor's regeneration music from we're, Doctor we're, Who. We're, you're picking that in class, right? And we were kind of I, I think a so. few options that we were looking. We were we were looking at a few of them. I can't remember what the others were, but I remember like looking at how perfectly timed it was and how emotional it was. I was like, this is it. This yeah. is the one. And um, it's the same music that actually plays when she tells Shepard about Jonah and what he did for her and everyone. Yeah. That's really cool. In Shift 2 Part 2, she talks about how Jonah died, how he named her, saved the planet, etc. And it's the same exact music. That was my favorite scene. I wanted to show that so far. I I loved that that scene between the two where she was just talking because maybe because I have more emotional attachment to this one because I spent so much goddamn time doing it. But I loved it. I loved it so much. I loved it so much. It already opened the toxin. Before we confront them. So we had to do a little, like, you know, just shut a little long. Captain opened the toxin canisters. He finally unlocked the escape pods. He shoves Miller in an escape pod and closes it. He wants to save her. And then, okay, this has to be... So what are you doing? This actually has to be retconned a little. Not, not totally, not totally. But one thing that he says in here. Um, the only way to stop it from crashing into the planet. Oh man, this like even even now, this is one of my favorite scenes that I've ever done on a on a machinima, just because of I think how much weight it has and yeah, lots of emotions. And see, a few misplaced wires. A few misplaced wires should turn off the coolant flushing system and cause the main reactor to implode, whatever. That line, that's what needs to be retconned. He is causing the ship to self-destruct, but that needs to be retconned. Um, for a very specific reason Nothing before coming to play out, later. Miller. But, um... This is the way it has to be. So, You'll be safe this part right below. here... This is the best if, part of voice acting you If you too. see a floating ball anywhere... I think, except for the... Tell her... That, right there. Tell There's... I, tell her... <laughs> no, it's the... Tell her... <laughs> I had no... I had no pop filter. Um, <laughs> so I was getting a lot... Every time I had pee, it would just, like, blow into the mic. It, it sucked. Um, I wasn't even originally supposed to be the voice actor. I was supposed to be Brandon Coe, but he never got back to me about voicing. Oh, I mean, so, I couldn't have done it without you. Ah, well. Um, this is all oh, my fault. There's another line in here that comes into play. Um, it's right after this one. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made. See, in Shift 2 Part 2, when she gets taken by the virus, um, she also says that because Shepard asks her, what are we going to do, just leave you here? And she says, sometimes sacrifice, because he taught her. I wanted to throw back, so that's two little references in Shift 2 Part, uh, in, in Shift 2, that come back. This was, this is one of my favorite lines, I'm not even going to talk. I want to be Well, it needed to be done. Not for that. I thank you for being my friend. I always thought that was nice. Like yeah, she's she's not thanking him for the killing of himself, but she's actually thanking him because it was so much more meaningful for her just for him to be her friend. Because she's never had friends. Yeah, yeah, she's never been treated as human, and she knows she's gonna survive. But her creators, who have kind of treated her as tools, are gonna die. Whatever. He he steps out, and then this whole thing with like the ship blowing up. I I really like the scene, but um, I think. Uh, I think the whole point of Shift 2 with its tone, I mean, sorry, not Shift 2 is so different in tone from Shift 1. Yeah. I think that's one of the reasons why even though Shift 2 is edited far better, and it still has its issues, yeah. but even though it's edited far better, I still sometimes prefer Shift 1's story. Just because Shift 1 had a tone, it was bittersweet, it even ends this on This is bittersweet, great, though. great show. Super, super great, um, just music with the crescendo and like the final note just changes to the final scene but shift one was a story about a guy basically stopping genocide of a planet for for human greed um right and i think that's kind of what set it apart it wasn't just your standard action machinima it wasn't just standard blah blah blah. people are fighting it was over it, the, had, it wasn't over over the top you yeah know? it was it pretty had, modest in the way it, Operated. It had meaning. It had uh, an analogies to the real world too. Yeah. And so I think that's why I like this. Shift two is much more action, but um, it's it's a bit philosophical, but not nearly as uh, as the first shift. And I think that's why the first shift had so much weight in the conflict, but it had so few people working behind it. And yeah. I think that's why I liked it. Yeah, I think the reason Yui Hisaishi, that's that's the voice actress I thought was dead. Right. But she, okay. she's, so she's she's alive. fine. She's fine. Yeah. She just, she's she's fine. Um yeah. yeah. See, I think what was great too is yeah, the fact that it was really most like ninety percent of this was like just you and me, you know? Like there was no we had a little bit of gentleman raptor and a couple like 
maybe like two scenes where he was there, you know? And then like, of course, all the editing and a lot of the thought process was you. It was more just my, my helping along the way. But even still, it was just a lot of, a lot of work. And then when it was there and then to see the payoff, like, especially I'm sure for you, it's still your biggest video, right? Uh, my, my 47... Thousand. It's my biggest machinima. My machinima. the most <laughs> amount of views I have on a video is actually a stupid Titanfall two montage. Oh really? <laughs> it's not even my best montage, but it's got a hundred and thirty six thousand views. Oh wow! Well, that's cool. That, there you go. That's pretty cool too. No, I, I I want to disperse all of those views towards the machinimas <laughs> instead of being on that. Like of all the things that get popular. Well, for me, since I'm not making any YouTube stuff, and the stuff I do now is usually just shown to my classes or my friends or like you know or like a few i've done a few commercials you know for companies and things like that but i haven't done anything like this where it's just released in general public and people actually cared about it so for me it was a big deal i was like oh wow almost 50k that's insane right like i've that's not something i'm doing now and it's not something i'm gonna be doing for a few years until i have the resources again you know out of college but like wow that was cool and then read up you know read the comments like i was very into it you know being someone that this isn't my field you know and inspired me to do more voice acting and take a voice acting class and be in acting you know more in in college than i probably would have been prior because i was such a camera guy and you know behind the behind the screen type type of stuff but now it inspired me to kind of be more well-rounded so this has a lot of inspiration personally for me so that's cool that actually means a lot because to be honest it was it was the same way for me when I was working on this project because the thing was is that um, I'll, I'll go into it briefly right so shift the original draft version was so different from what it finally came out with yeah. um, I first came up with the idea for a machine called shift in 2011 which was still Halo Reach days Halo yeah. Halo 4 wasn't out and it was originally just about a guy it was a Halo thing where a guy was shifting between one reality where he was an elite and one reality where he was an ODST, <laughs> and he had memories for both, but he couldn't figure out which was real, and it turned out that there was some eccentric forerunner AI that was constructing the whole experiment, and it was a male AI, and it was, um, it was, it was a monitor, and it was evil um, doing this whole thing, and so it, he had two different dangers in each of them, and he had so to solve... So it was like in the Halo universe? Yeah, okay. and so he had to figure out which one was real and which one wasn't, and it turned out neither of them were real. Blah, plot twist. Um, <laughs> but, um, so obviously parts of that came into the, um, the Shift 1 Halo 5, which were um, that Forge monitor got turned into Lucy, the right. whole two impending dangers between two realities turned into the future um, reality or the potential reality and the permanent reality, which is on the ship. Um, and trying to bo solve both conflicts because he's trying to figure out how the planet got destroyed while also trying to figure out why um, his ship is crashing and they're both interconnected. Um, so there were a few concepts I got put into there. but uh, And then I remember... Do you remember how many scripts I threw out like in film class? Yeah. Where I would then, write like 20 pages of a script and I think the longest one that I wrote was... Uh, See, there we, was a longer one than all the others. There was one that was a lot longer. I yeah, remember. there were the, the two big ones, I believe. The first one was that it turned out the ship thing was a simulation and that he was something called a shifter, which was basically like a guardian of reality right. or whatever. And then she was part of just a system in place to wake shifters. And so he had to uh, stop a danger occurring. And then the other one was that it was very similar concept to that, except... Um, he um except that there the the threat was reality jumper terrorists right and i remember so, that and so he was gonna and that ended up being shift two pretty right. much which is because we talked was, about that was the one that was more towards the end of like we we're kind of getting to the final as you were getting the final level and you went over that with me and i think we kind of talked about that's kind of we we had one or two days where we just started talking and you know going really into it mm -hmm. and that's when we i remember coming to like oh what if we tried this and then, like, you took your writing and you went and redid it the way you wanted it. And then, you know, I would just kind of, like, you bounce it off me. And then it was, it was, a, it was really a two-man team most of the time, you know. It was just lots of – really, it was a one-man team. But then no, it, no, nah, it was, like, was two-man. I, um, I, I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to say is uh, even through all those, like, failed drafts and through all those things, I didn't ever expect – I wanted it from the very beginning – you, like just from the name, I wanted it to be something that like people could think about. If someone were to, were to say Halo Machinima, and someone could say, "Oh, you mean like Shift?" Yeah. or like remember it something yeah. because there are classic Machinimas that people remember. Um, 
even even today. There's the old Deus Ex Machina, which tried yeah. to start off as like serious and then just delves into comedy. There's uh, Army Over Red versus Blue, Army <laughs> and the Chief, Red versus Blue. There's classic Halo Machinimas. Um, I'm trying to remember the uh, the horror ones. There's Forgotten Spartans um, and Girona. There's there's a ton of things that people can just look back and remember in the golden age as machinima. I remember and, watching a lot of those prior to making this. We just had a couple of days where we just watched machinimas. You know, mm-hmm. we watched a bunch of them and then we'd be like, look yeah, we tips. don't really like that or we do like that. You know, mm-hmm. and there's a few. I remember that being especially we watched one action one from certain a certain YouTuber that you didn't necessarily like too much, and you're like, that is not that is one thing we are not doing. You know, yeah. like, we watched a couple action ones that were like, yeah, we can't take that too far, especially mm-hmm. when we knew it was just going to be us too. It's mm-hmm. like we can't make any crazy action stuff, and we didn't want it to be you exactly. Know? And like, it wanted to, we wanted to have touching moments, and then some action, and then like a, a good story progression. We wanted you know? to have weight, but grounded in kind of uh, how how big that action was. Right. Or, the um, action moments were just like they weren't they weren't necessarily key. Like there were key moments, and the action just kind of like like her using the Spartan laser to you know destroy those guys. There's a lot of weight in that because she's figuring out like, oh, I need to protect, like, I need to protect somebody. You she's know? rebelling a little bit, right? Kind and of like that's it's a character moment. It's not an action moment, yeah. you know. And she's finding herself instead of just listening to what these people have told her. Exactly. Um, and she finally found someone worth protecting in Jonah. Um, but like through through it all, I think I never expected it. I wanted it to be that big. I wanted it to be something that people knew me for that people knew me should not for excuse me but i never expected it to actually get there and i'm so glad that because of your efforts and my efforts we actually made it into something that did like i don't mean i don't mean to toot our own horns (laughs) or anything but like it's it's freaking 2018 now this came out in 2016 hey the golden age of machinima was long dead 50k machinimas are just Pretty rare. Very, very few and far between. Yeah. Um, and the think, comments, too, like to get support. I mean, there's plenty of people who have been doing them for years, so they'll still get the views, but they're not. They're, they're like, those nice comments, like those sincere, like, this is the best Halo 5 machine out right now. Exactly. Like, just to read that, it's like, oh my God, we, we did something and I'm proud of it. You know, right? Like, that's awesome. Do, do we think it's the best Halo 5 machinima or even the best machinima? No, no. we don't. But. To you know see the that flaws are, for sure. <laughs> exactly. We we just spent like forty minutes pointing them out. But to see people who think that it is is absolutely humbling and monumental to us. Everything we did pays off. All absolutely. the kill balls, all the deaths, so all the needler shots, <laughs> especially the needler shots. <laughs> Um, I apologize uh, two years later in advance for all of those fine. of you who were confused <laughs> why there's needlers. That was me <laughs> two years oh. ago. Man. Anyway, it's been an absolute joy. I love this project despite all its flaws. I love making the second one despite how frustrating and long-winded it is. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad to uh, have spent this day going yeah, over it with you again, Jack. Dude. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Got this is three. There you go. Mateo Arts and Jack Kennedy here. Jackson um, round 43. Jackson <laughs> round 43 on Xbox. Yeah, they add me. <laughs> we are uh, signing off. Adios, guys. Later.